will do something called the two-step swing drills. It has three stages. Uh, the first stage is you, you start with the feet together. And then, so uh, stage one, you will take two steps from here. And uh, all these stages have something called the trigger motion. So you're throwing the club toward the target first, and then take small step away. During the back swing, you're taking another small step toward the target, and then swing. Let's see if you can do this. No need to swing hard at this point. And also, choke up a little bit so that you don't have to, uh, yeah, yeah. So here, I'll, I'll show you this. So from here, uh, let me use a, device here. So initially, keep the feet together, and then throw, take a step, step, and swing. And then, so in doing this, in doing this, you're putting a lot of effort in the downswing but try to put more effort in the backswing. Have a faster backswing using the trigger motion. Ah, 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 ah. It's a bit too uh, snappy or jerky. So the, the whole goal is to move the, the goal here is to move the clip head nicely. No matter what, your body is basically uh, moving to move the clip head fast here. So it's not about your jerky body motion, but rather you have to pay attention to the calibrate motion. So here. here. Ooh. The goal is to move the calibrate instead of having jerky body motion. Pay attention to the calibrate motion. That's better, that's better, that's better. So, uh, and then, but the trigger motion is a bit weak. Because the trigger, the purpose of the trigger is to promote the good first vector here. So it should be also rhythmic. So it's an mm, and then let it go. Yeah. Again. Hold the hold the club a bit shorter so that uh, make it a bit easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. And then now, so we have two transitions here. From the trigger motion to backswing, we have a transition. From backswing to downswing, we have a transition here. In the transition, no rush. So the motion itself should be active here, but here in the transition, have enough time so that you can easily take the step here. And also here, this motion, you know, take a step here, but have more time at the top in the transition. So instead of quickly going here, yeah. here, throw here and then have enough time and then let it go. And also when you go with back swing, avoid this here. Okay. If your body goes too early and then the club follows, you have this here. But the goal is to move the club head here. So essentially the timing is basically based on the club head motion. Throw. Throw, throw, clip it. Move the clip head continuously. So your goal is to move the clip head actively and actively here instead of moving the body too much. Again. Mm -hmm. Again. And then in the downswing, in the downswing, the goal is to throw the hands and the club head in front of your body. So instead of the body turning too early, your goal is to throw this. So when, when you use the legs, what the leg, what the legs do is it promotes good turning motion. During the backswing, by using the right leg, you have a good turning motion here. And then in the downswing, by using the leg, you have good turning motion instead of trying to jump. Okay? No, not this way here. The leg actually will actually give you good turning motion. So again, 
So the ligations will actually keep good turning motion. Still, the, in the downstream, your body moves too early. Go here at the weight here, and then in one action, just to throw the clavet. Is that rope? Okay. Still, your goal is to move the clavet fast around. Again. The tradition from backswing to downswing is a bit too early. You're rushing. Give enough time here. So when you have a faster backswing, the this motion will give you large enough backswing here. And then let it go, let it go all the way instead of quickly try to bring it down. So, and then while this is uh, in the tradition, you have time, then they will give you a time for a, a weight shift to the lead side. Again. Again. So currently your swing plane is more this way here. You're not swinging this way anymore, which is good. And uh, so again, all in all, basically your body motion should have good control over the clavier motion here. Clavier motion. So instead of going here and then, Okay. So the goal is to move the clavier around your body. Let's use this way. This will be a bit easier. And then let us hear that the whipping sound all the way. Hmm? Uh, that way you can hold it. Yeah, it's a light enough so. But the, the trigger is a bit weak. Trigger motion should be also rhythmic here. Um, using the body, yeah. And also, in doing this, by using the trigger motion, you are already setting the swing plane here. Yeah. So by moving the club, by moving the club in the trigger motion, this is the swing plane you will use in the downswing here. So if this goes here or here, then you lose the swing plane here. So you have to tell yourself, okay, this is the swing plane, bring it back and then swing again. Yes. Now, the, because it's a bit lighter and then you don't drag that much. For some reason, it just feels uh, heavy. Okay, again, so when you swing, again, the goal is to move the end of the stick really fast. Mm -hmm. Again. Mm -hmm. And then in doing that, in the back swing, see if you are moving the, the club head inward. That's better, yes, that's better. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of your hand motion, when you start the thousand, if the hand goes down too much, then you have to lift the hand here. So instead, Try to bring the hands more in, in one here. Yeah. And then turn around. Turn around good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means that from the beginning, in the trigger motion, you have to move it this way. Yeah, yeah, more, go a bit flatter. So. Yeah, go a bit flatter so that you know that in the downstream, you have to bring the club that way. And then, in the back swing, still you need to bring your hand, uh, the arm a bit higher here. Instead of going back here, try to bring a bit higher so that it's easy to turn this way. Mm -hmm. And then in the down swing, no need to swing that hard. Rather, you have a more active back swing. When you have active back swing, or make your down swing will be active.
Mm. Yeah, with this motion, you are now turning quite well. So you are not really doing this, sitting down and dragging here. It's because the stick is a bit lighter. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so with that, comfortably swing through, uh, generate the fast motion, whipping sound, and with that you build good motion pad. Okay, again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what happens is, uh, if your club is too heavy, you de you develop dragging motion. So oftentimes when you develop good swing pattern, it's, it's uh, easier to uh, use a, a lighter one and develop good pattern and then move to the club. Okay? Again, yeah, now the motion pattern is a lot better. Yeah, the, in the back swing, the hand motion is a lot better. It's going a bit steeper. So it's easier to turn this way in the down swing. Yeah. Now, this is stage one. Stage two will eliminate the, the first step. So for that, you, you start with the narrow stance here. So, and then give just the room for uh, this step here. Yeah. So you are not taking that step. So still the same thing, trigger. In the back swing, no step. Mm, and then no step, but take this step only. So we are basically eliminating the steps. Yeah. Mm. Uh, narrow stance. So okay. stage one we had to fit together yeah. because we need to take both steps here. Yeah. Now stage two, you only need to take the left step here. So just uh, start with a slight narrow stance. Okay, I just don't need this step. Yeah. Again, more active trigger. Okay. So you you are developing rhythmic motion. Yes, yes, that back swing is good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. So that's stage two. Stage three, no step. So use your regular stance, but still use the trigger motion, the bring it back and then swing, but no step. But maintain the similar rhythm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now your body is working a lot better. Instead of quickly going here and then dragging this. When you use the club then you will see that to a certain extent because this is heavier. But first with that we develop a good movement pattern. Okay, stage three. Stage three. Mm -hmm. And then in doing this, you have to pay attention to the swing plane. Currently, the swing plane is well aligned this way. It's not going that way. So, because the motion is quite rhythmic here, and then it's all connected, you have no room for uh, going, turning this much and then try to lift here. It's just one motion here, one continuous motion. And then you are moving everything along the inclined plane here. Let's go to uh, stage one, two, three in a row. Mm -hmm. And then two. Mm -hmm. And then three. Yes. So it's essentially the same rhythm, right? But uh, the, the thing is whether you're taking the steps or not. So stage one to three essentially meaning the same thing. But the steps will actually pro uh, provide good rhythmic action. 
But once you have the right timing of the steps, then whether you have steps or not, still you will have the same rhythm here. Again, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Now, very good. So we have a good pattern established with the lighter stick here. Now let's go to the club swing. So this is heavier, so it's not as easy as this one. But try to maintain, again, good pattern. Here, again, what you have to pay attention to is the club head motion here. That's, this is what, what matters, instead of trying to move the body. Pay attention to nice motion of the club head around. Yeah. So let's start with the stage one. Mm -hmm. So in order to swing good in the downswing, you have to have active backswing. And then automatically you will be able to connect backswing to downswing. Yes? So hold it up short. Yeah, this is a, a lot heavier than the stick, so. Uh, Stage one. Yeah. So with the, this rhythm motion, you eliminate a lot of uh, unnecessary movements already. <laughs> Trading. <laughs> Stage two. So if you have, uh, again, faster backswing, then in the downswing, you don't have to sit down quite a bit. Yes. And then on the way down, the hand position should be a, a, a comfortable position. You should not go too, too much out, then swing, because like this. If it's too close, then you tend to turn this way too much. You have to find the reasonable hand position so that you can have a comfortable swing through. Because in the downswing, you need to turn this way, right? So you should allow nice turn and finish. Yeah. Again, stage two. And again, the goal is to move the clip head, right? Yes. Yes, yes, now that flow is really good. <laughs> now, stage three, stage three, no step. Yeah, so now uh, with these, we solved a lot of problems. First, you're not swinging this way anymore. And then the, the flow is, the, the, is better connected. And everything is already moving along the inclined plane here. So you don't have two stage motion here. Okay? You just go here. And then, because this is a, a fast motion here, in your image, you just uh, want to uh, reverse the direction and the throw. You're not doing anything else. Along the inclined plane, you move faster here. The, all you do is reverse the direction and then throw. Right? Yeah. So the, the swing thoughts becomes really simple. Again, stage one, two, three in a row. Now, now as you do, see if the T position is reasonable. Now, I intentionally use a long, long T so you can touch the tip. As you swing, particularly in the downswing, try to touch the tip. So that will give you a consistent downswing. So while still doing the stages, but in the downswing, try to touch the tip. Here. 
So stage one, stage one. You can you can touch all the way. Yeah. If you if you can. Yeah, particularly in the downs, you have to touch it. So, during the during the uh, trigger motion reaction, don't worry too much about it. But in the downs, you have to make sure you touch it. And then again, when you pay too much attention to it, then you have the, the motion becomes shorter or things like that. So still the goal is to move the clip head. It's just a motion. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Again. And then go to stage two. Ah, missed. Yeah. So make sure in the downstream you touch the tip. Mm -hmm. Ah, the back the the trigger was weak. And the back swing was short and low, so you are manipulating it. Okay. Just uh, don't worry about it too much. It's just at one point you pass through. Okay. Still continuous motion here. Swing. Then make sure you just hit the, the T in the downswing. Hmm? Missed. So right now, missed it because the curve is now going this way slightly. So in the back, you have to bring a bit higher. So, uh, stay? Let's do stay two. Again. Yeah. Now the, the motion is a lot simpler. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, let's go to stage three. Yeah, now the body action and the clip head motion are a lot better timed. Yeah. So again, stage three. Mm. Again. So try to again make sure you hit the T. Yes. So you know you have the image of uh, the the position of the T here. So if you have a good the spatial, uh, you know. Uh, sense here, then you know that it is here. So then, no matter what, you will pass through it. Okay. So it's, instead of just gazing it directly, your face can turn 45 degrees, 45 degrees here, use the peripheral vision, but you have to feel the position of the, the T, and then make sure you deliver the clip head there. When you rely too much on your uh, visual sense here, then it limits the motion. So have to just to have a good uh, feel of where, where it is, then even without watching it, you should be able to swing through <coughs> that point. Uh, let's do stage three. Stage three. Again. This time, uh, in the back swing, you kind of lower it here, and then try to, in the down swing, try to uh, stand up here. In the back swing, when you have an active back swing, actually your right leg is pushing the ground, and the hip is moving up. So you will stand tall in the back swing here, on the right leg. Stand tall on the right leg, and then kick the left leg and the leg go. So in the back swing, do not go down. Yes, like that. Again. Currently, your stance is slightly uh, closed. Your foot foot position. So uh, align the the toes 
yeah, in this direction. Okay. So you still left the toe is a, a bit ahead of the right toe. Yeah. So the motion, the, the, all these stages just make the motion really simple. But you're just changing the direction and connecting them well. Yes, yes. And then check the check the foot position, toe position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see uh, in the downstream, you are not doing all these unnecessary movements. This, this is the last thing. Usually, uh, complaints of neck stiffness. You go s sitting down and then turning like this, like a crazy. But uh, when you have just the continuous motion like this here, then your face just turns about 45 degrees, 45 degrees. And then you don't have to uh, worry about this. Yeah. Going uh, low here, you put the burden here, you, you are contracting these muscles, trying to go down here. But if you just let it go, then there is no reason to uh, contract these muscles. Yeah, it's, right here too, like. mm. it's because you just go low here. Yeah. And try to turn quite a bit. But with the disc flow here, no need to do that. And bring the, the arms a bit higher here, and then swing the turn this way. Okay, again, stage three. <laughs> yeah, so the swing motion is now Continuous and it's a lot simpler. Your swing plane is well established. Mm -hmm. So then, on the way down, we have the feel of throwing the hands at the club, right? And the Im image that uh, you have uh, something sticking here, maybe gum or sticker or whatever that is, you want to shake it off. In order to shake it off, then you have to let the head go, right? Using the wrist action here. So you are throwing the color head. Instead of having jerky body motion here and then dragging this here, you are throwing the color head and the shaking of the, the sticker, right? So it's important to have the correct image. When you have a correct imaging, and then you execute the, the motion the way you want, then you will have a good motion pattern. So, but sometimes the body motion is exaggerated, but the key is actually the color head motion, right? So, Body moves to promote the good clever motion. So always the uh, focus is on the clever head. You have to feel how the clever head is moving around here. There you go. It's all about clever motion. Again, let's go stage one, two, three. Now you stepped backwards slightly, so you were moving away from the T. That's why you cannot hit the hit the T here. Mm -hmm. Stage two. Okay, stage three. Now let me watch from here. Stage one, two, three again. Now <clears throat> Still, when you start the swing, you, you are standing like this, but try to move the body a little bit here, and you should have this uh, internal rhythm here, and then throw, bring it back. You never, okay, don't ever start the swing from really stationary position. When you are in the stationary position, then the only way you can do the back swing is a spin, 
and they do it. So in order to have active maximum here, so you have to have an effect similar to the trigger motion here. When you have a trigger, even when you start the trigger, you're starting from here and then going like this. But the trigger motion should be rhythmic here, using the left leg, mm, mm, <coughs> right leg, and then down to left leg. You're taking steps. So, mm, mm, <coughs> so in order to do that, before, the, before you start the motion, your body has to some, somewhat having this rhythm motion a little bit and then start here. So don't try to uh, go from completely stationary position. Somehow you have to move your body. Yeah, that, that makes everything flowing. But the reason why the backswing becomes, uh, you know, exaggerated or whatever, is because you're starting from the stationary position. Then you cannot do much from the station position. So you tend to spin around, right? Spin and then lift down here. But when your body is basically having the weight shift continuously, then it's easy to uh, introduce this motion. And the weight shift will prevent uh, too much rotation here, right? So have a good, so now this is called the stage X. So go here several times here. Okay, your goal is to move the club head, the club head, the club head, <coughs> and the So this is similar to stage three, but you have more swings. So regular stance? Hmm. Regular stance, and swing back and forward. And then keep good back swing, and then let it go. And then it's a bit uh, broken here. So instead of just the whip, 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 make it, make, make it uh, continuous. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now this is a lightsaber Jedi is using. <laughs> then when you move it, it makes sounds, wing, wing, right? Then instead of having wing, wing, wing here, wing, so continuous motion here. Particularly the last one, back swing to down swing. When instead of when when it's not two different motions, but rather it's one continuous motion. So here when so have that image. When 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 so this is called the stage X because you are taking any number of uh, swings. You can usually limit it to maybe three. So here, one, two, three, wind up, go. Okay, let's count to three. So you have three trigger motions, right? Again, still it can be more continuous. Pay attention to the clever motion here. What you're, you're, what you're doing is moving the clip head here. So one, two, three, wind up, and go. Instead of oop, oop, oop. So one, two, three. So when, sometimes when you make sound, that <laughs> Oh, no, no. So one, this is one. Two, one, two, three, wind up, let go. And then at the end, instead of intentionally try to change the direction, let it go. So that means you don't have to go too high here. So wait until this is completed. One, two, because this is transition here. In the transition, you don't force it. Instead of going like this, one, two, three. So you have to give a bit more time in the transition. Mm, that's better time, yes. Let it go here. So this all basically is focusing on developing rhythm in your swing. So whether you use a stage one, two, three, or use a stage X here and there, 
But the bottom line is your body, once your body gets used to uh, this kind of uh, swing, then it means that you have the, the fundamental rhythm in place. Yeah. Now, let's do this. State three and your regular swing. So as if, uh, pretend that there's a ball there. So state three will, is your pre-shot routine. State three is your pre-shot routine. And then, after that, you will do a regular swing, okay? And then you can do a stationary over there or, or even here, whichever. And even the stage three can be a smaller one here. So when, when you're behind the ball, when, when you are behind the ball here, you can have uh, maybe a smaller version of stage one or mm, mm, as you are yeah, aligning the, the direction here. Then come here to stay straight. Okay. But always before you actually hit the ball, try to use it, one of the one of the stages to prep your body. Uh, this, this time it was uh, the rotation and the steps are not well timed. Okay. Here again, still it's the clever motion. And then come to this position. Let's do a stage three there. Yeah. Stage three there, and then your regular swing. Stage three. Mm. Yes, and then approach to the ball. And as you do your regular swing, the key is having active back swing, right? Yes. In order to have active back swing, your body has to move before that. The, the easiest way is from here, put the left, right knee in a little bit while lifting the heel, go here, and then by dropping, start back swing. Mm. So here. Mm. <coughs> so again. Uh, you, are, you are putting too much uh, emphasis on lowering the body here, but this actually has to give good throw here. Again, the, the main purpose of that body trigger is to promote okay. so from here. You have to, again, in the backswing, you have to move the club head around your body instead of quickly bring this up here. That's oh. better, that's better, that's better. Yeah, now you feel the motion of club head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then open the body a bit more this way. So move that way a little bit. So that means you are keeping the ball a bit to the left, right? Then from the initial alignment, your, your chest is slightly open. That's probably easy. So with a slight open body position here, and then push this and then start practicing. Yeah. Now let's do stage three followed by your regular swing. So after stage three, remember that rhythm, and then you have to use a similar rhythm in the regular swing. Mm -hmm. Remember that rhythm, and then approach the ball, and then slightly moving the body initially, and then similar motion here. You have, you have to work on this. Yeah, you have to find the, the most the comfortable uh, trigger motion. It's called the body trigger. Up to this point, we, in, the, in the stages, we use the club trigger. Here. But now, now, in the regular motion, you cannot use the club trigger. Yeah. Then somehow you have to use your body. In the, in the. And then when you start the back swing, when you start the back swing, make sure that it is turning with your body. Uh, if you go this way, it's uh, hard. So throw. Just uh, move, move this, no need to use the uh, wrist intention, just to hold it here. By turning the body, you're going together, and then here. So it should be body driven, body driven back swing here. Okay? And then here, no need to go this way, no need to go this way, just. And then you are giving too much angle here, just to give. So the goal is to move the clip head around your body here.
Okay, no intentional wrist motion. Okay. Just using the body and then mm, still still you have tendency of doing this. Yeah. So again, the goal is no matter what, the goal is to move the club head around here. Right? So in the back swing from here, you should be able to turn the whole thing together and then let it go. We using this momentum, let the club head go all the way. So let's go to uh, stage three. Give me uh, three consecutive stage threes. You need to work on the stages a lot, then naturally you'll be able to develop uh, easier uh, you know, body motion here. Again. Mm -hmm. So that's the motion flow. And then in the regular swing, you should be able to come up with similar motion, similar back swing motion. So in the back swing, your goal is to go all the way here instead of try to go down quickly here. In the regular swing, still the goal is back in the back swing is going all the way here. Go, mm, and then let it go. So remember the rhythm that you developed with the stage three. Somehow you have to use a similar rhythm in the regular swing. Stage three followed by your regular swing. Yes, that's good. And then have a similar back swing without the trigger motion. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this time the swing plane went a bit uh, this way here. So you have to be careful with that. So with the step drills, you can simplify the swing quite a bit and the develop natural rhythm. Always work on, work on those. So next uh, maybe a couple of weeks, uh, an hour every day, <coughs> practice the swing, uh, the step drills. Okay? And then we'll also do a little bit of a rope swing, but uh, so practice these every day. And then when this becomes your natural pattern, then you cannot do anything else. And this is actually uh, natural motion. So uh, this is what uh, we're born with. But somehow uh, we tend to deviate from uh, the natural movement pattern. But now, so the, the transition from stages to uh, your regular swing, that's uh, what you need to work on quite a bit. It's your homework, okay?